Hi everyone, I'm Mike Staver. This is Money's with Mike, a weekly show where I answer questions from people just like you. Here's this week's question. It's kind of an entertaining question. Dear Mike, I've discussed with my significant other over and over and over and over and over, it's a lot of overs, and over again, about what my boundaries are and expectations are for how we should treat each other, particularly how I should be treated. In every case, they agree to those boundaries. In fact, they're even wildly apologetic that they don't sometimes live up to those boundaries. And then within a few days, they violate the agreement and somehow they blame me that they would act differently were it not for me. <laughs> Signed, what the heck? <laughs> Welcome to love. Uh, 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 you know, uh, I mean, my history would not exactly uh, bode well for giving you a whole ton of advice. I'm assuming that you're not married because you're telling them that they're your significant other. Uh, a couple of things that you need to know. Um, sometimes what people do in relationships is they commit to do things that they don't really want to do because they're afraid of losing the person. So they make a lot of, uh, what shall I say, compromises because the thought of losing the significant other is much more painful than the thought of having to suffer through what you're asking them to suffer through. Now, I'm not saying your expectations are unreasonable. I'm not saying that your expectations aren't right. I'm just saying that if somebody else over and over and over and over and over again, you continue to have these conversations and it continues to go through the same cycle, the good news and bad news is it's probably not going to change. So you've either got to saddle up and go, can I live with this for the foreseeable future? Or am I going to keep replicating this pattern of conflict? What sometimes happens, and I don't know if you're I don't know if you're boy, girl, man, woman, animal. What sometimes happens, though, is we get in a very comfortable pattern of conflict where we're like, I thought we already talked about this. You said, you said, you said, you said. And they go, you're right, I said, but... You know, this is different. Well, it's not that different. So a couple things. Number one, always acknowledge their perception. Always acknowledge that the way they see it is real for them, even if it's not real. And then always be confused. Uh, the best thing you can do is go, I'm, I, I, I'm confused. I, I want this relationship to work, if you do. And I'm unclear about what we can do to stop the pattern. The problem that you're having is not that you discuss it over and over. The problem is that you're in a conflict pattern. The only way to break that is to do something different. Either change your expectations or have a meaningful, curious conversation. Either way, relationships are not easy. Take care. I'm Mike Staver. Bye-bye.